If there is a lack of faith in the way elections are run in this country, where does that stem from? So, I, you know, we go back to 2000. <laughs> there should have been a lack of faith in what happened in 2000. And what we learned in 2000 is that there are cracks in our democracy. Election officials get to do different things from one place to the next. Some voters vote on different kinds of machines from others. And so we have different rules about who can register and who can't from state to state. And it's really not one America when it comes mm -hmm. to voting. And that's the thing that should rock our faith in the system. But also the fact that the real voter fraud is the kind of fraud that is about intimidation, misinformation given to voters about, oh, election day is being moved to Saturday, um, and again for partisan gain. And that's the thing that we should be really concerned about. When I talked to one of the authors of the Indiana law, he said the purpose of the law uh, is to prevent fraud and also to reinstate faith in the election process. What would reinstate, you know, uh, integrity in the system is to open up access. We don't have an impersonation problem mm -hmm. in this country. So photo ID laws are not going to remedy what you see as the real problems? Oh, n no. Photo ID laws will not help one bit. We know that what will happen is people will show up to the polls, that their IDs will be scrutinized, that many people will not have their ID. And, you know, at the end of the day, we've got to think about in this country about how we increase access and participation instead of cutting it off. Why don't we want to have a democracy where everyone gets to have a say?